Hi, buddy. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh, he's so busy. Hi. No, can't touch it. Good morning, you guys. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. It's just been so busy here with Porter's birthday party. We had a great birthday party. Lots of people came and celebrated Porter and we did the cake smash and we ate cake and we had pizza and it was yummy and fun and the weather was awesome. It was a little hot, but it was not raining. It was sunny so we could <coughs> do stuff outside. We blew up our bounce house and the kids loved it and yeah, it was just a great time. I'm just here in the playroom playing with Porter and also Berkeley. Say hi, Berkeley. We are dog sitting yet again. My parents are uh, on vacation, so we are dog sitting for a week for Berkeley. So she's free entertainment for my kiddos. And we're just chilling. Grayson is at preschool. It's another day of preschool, so he is still <laughs> loving it. Oh my goodness, today um, they were, they are learning about the color yellow. Every month they focus on a different number, shape, color, and theme. And so today they're learning about the color yellow. So his teacher said, if you can have your kid wear yellow to school. So he's got a cute ye little yellow collared t-shirt that I put him in. So he's there right now um, at preschool. Unfortunately, it's raining today. So he's prob not, probably not gonna be able to go out on the playground today, which will probably make him sad. So hopefully he doesn't have a meltdown, but we will have to see how he liked preschool when he gets home. But for now, Porter and I are just chilling. Usually on mornings when Grayson's at preschool, we'll go on a walk in the stroller. Sometimes I get brave and I venture out to the store with Porter, um, but today we're just kind of chilling. I was planning on filming Porter's 12 month update. I actually had the camera set up. I started recording and then I realized we haven't been to the pediatrician yet, so I couldn't record that video because we don't have his updated stats. So that didn't work out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a day in the life. Um, there's really not much going on today, so I don't know how much I'm gonna film, and it's raining. Hopefully it's only raining this morning, we can get out this afternoon. Days are really, really long. I'm sure you moms know when it's rainy. So, we're just chilling. Porter is enjoying all of his new toys. Huh. He got lots of new toys. So, one of the toys that he got is this little shape sorter, um, and it's super cute. It only comes with like three different shapes um but the cool thing about this is they make noise when they go in the hole so i'll show you so he loves it and he's figured out that he can blow into it and make the noise himself yeah can you blow it blow the thing can you blow it so there's a circle a triangle yeah, that's what I'm talking about in a square. So that's, that's a hit here. <laughs> he really likes that. Another toy that he got is this little fishbowl toy. And it basically like, you can just take things out and put it back in and it sings songs and teaches about colors and stuff. Sorry, now Porter's into the whole thing, uh, into the whole blowing, making noise thing. Porter is super into putting things inside of things right now. His absolute favorite is with the, co with the coasters. We have a coaster set and he likes to dump the coasters out and put it back in the base. So he got a lot of toys where it encourages like putting things in. So he liked that. Um, another thing that Porter got for his birthday is this cute little workbench toy. Um, I guess this is a hit. A lot of people have this toy, but it's super cute. It's got shape sorter and it comes with uh, four different shapes and then also like little toys you can interact with. It's like a little saw and a little drill and it comes with a ball you can put it in there and it sings songs. Gray loves this toy just as much as Porter. So yeah, that's definitely a hit, loves that. Porter also got a lot of um, books. Um, I told everybody that he's really into like touchy-feely books and so people 
took what I said and ran with it. He got this Never Touch a Koala book. We have so many of these Never Touch a. We have Never Touch a Monster, Never Touch a Shark, Never Touch a Spider, a Panda. My kids love these books. They're interactive and really cute. Porter's playing with the monster one right now. He really likes these books. He likes being able to touch and feel them. He also got this touch and feel ABC book, which I really like because it teaches about, it goes through each letter and then also has different things that you can touch. Um, so I thought that was really cool. This is one of the toys that I got for Porter. He's not super into it, but hopefully he'll grow into it. This I found on Amazon. I guess it's getting really popular. It's just a bunch of different shapes and you have to match it with the right hole and they only go in certain holes. So um, I thought that was really cool. It's like Montessori kind of style toy, but he I don't think he really gets it right now. He got a puzzle, which this one's really cool because it's a magnetic puzzle. So it comes with a little fishing pole and you can fish the toys out. Grayson is more into this toy than Porter is, but I'm sure Porter will grow into it. So yeah, just a lot of fun books and toys. He got spoiled, absolutely spoiled for his birthday. Um, and so the kids are enjoying having um, new toys to play with. It's keeping them entertained, especially because it's been rainy lately. I actually have a box of toys downstairs that I need to go get and bring up um, over a year ago. A little over a year ago we filled a couple boxes up with a bunch of toys and I meant to like do it as like rotating toys like you're really supposed to do that to keep like just fresh new toys and just rotate your toys and I had it downstairs and I just haven't brought it up partly because they're so heavy and I keep forgetting to ask for help so I'm gonna attempt to try to do it myself We'll see if I can bring those boxes up, but I think that would be really fun. I think the kids would really enjoy some new to them toys, but they're the toys we've had the whole time. And then that way I can put away some old toys that they haven't really been playing with that much. And then I just need to rotate it more often. I think you're supposed to do it every, rotate every three months or six months. I don't know, I have to look it up, but I should really start rotating toys more, especially with the winter months coming and we're gonna have to be inside more. Definitely should start on a rotating schedule. So we'll see if I get the uh, ambition <laughs> to try to bring these toys up. What is that? Is that a kangaroo? You must never touch a kangaroo. She's sure to be a grouch. And if you make her hopping mad, she'll pop you in her pouch. Yeah, so never touch these animals. Promise that you won't. If they're inside this book, please didgeree don't. Also, um, now that Porter's won, he doesn't need formula anymore. So I am down to the last two cans of formula. I've got one. Um, and then I've got one more. I've just been getting these small cans. I don't know if it's like your, in your area too, but the mire in our area right by our house. All throughout Porter's first year, they've always had formula cans on clearance. Um, so this one I got like 75% off because it expires in the 1st of October and it's like middle of September. Um, so definitely go look in the clearance section of your grocery store because that's where I've been able to get a lot of my formula cans for cheap because as we know formula is not cheap. So as soon as I get through these cans we're just going to move Porter on to whole milk which Grayson is still on whole milk so we're just going to go through milk really really fast. So hopefully we can keep up. Thankfully we are very close to a grocery store so if I ever need to like run and get more, I can. Here is the leftover cake. <laughs> it was really good. Not crazy about the frosting but I'm not really a frosting person. But the cake and the filling were really good. Um, looks like about half of it got eaten. And I really don't know if we're gonna eat any more of this. I might just end up pitching it. So it was really, really good. It was cute, kind of expensive because I didn't just go with like a grocery store cake. It was like a homemade baker made it. So it was a little more expensive, but support local, I guess, right? I just can't believe I have a one-year-old now. It is giving me such baby fever now that we don't technically have a baby. Although technically Porter is still a baby because he is not walking or toddling yet. So he's not a toddler, but he's, He's one now, like he's not, you know, 
only a couple months. So definitely getting that baby fever. Anthony is not. <laughs> but we are going on vacation in December, so I definitely don't want to be pregnant before then. After it, we'll see. But um, yeah, it's definitely giving me that baby fever. You forget about all those hard months when they're newborns because with Porter it was very hard. He was a very hard baby, but Gray wasn't bad. So we'll see what the third one is like. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to be pregnant again and have another baby, but that's not for a couple months. Whoa, Gray. Look at all your spins. Porter's got chalk. Grayson's doing spins. Berkeley's chilling. Ah, 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 yuck, yuck, yuck. Wow, Gray, look at your spins. <laughs> We're just out here before bedtime. Just hanging out on the driveway. Trying to make sure Porter doesn't eat the chalk. And Gray's doing spins. Are you doing spins? That'll tire him out, right? And he's still wearing the mummy pants. <laughs> yeah, you got your mummy pants on? Yeah. yeah. Did you have fun at preschool today? Yeah, yeah what'd you do at preschool? <laughs> he's over it. Wow, well, look at your spins. Look, he's just chilling. You're gonna get so dirty. What'd you do at preschool today? Whoa, whoa! Did you sing songs? Yeah. What song did you sing? Oh, oh, okay. More spins. Are you pushing Porter in the car? Good job! Good job, Great Gray! Okay, turn it around. Bring it back this way. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Good job, Gray! Anthony's throwing with the Berkeley. She loves the balls. 